Hey peeps, Jess here, and I'm hopping on to give a quick state of the channel slash update for what's been going on, because I mean, I was gone for a year, and also the travel videos haven't come back, so what's up with that? So I was hoping to cover both of those here. That'll be two sections. First will be the 2022 plans, and the second will be what happened, because a lot happened. I'll give you the summary of events. And we'll just deal with the fact that I still am very where to put the ring light in this room right now. So first for 2022, I wanted to back up and explain what I wanted the channel to be and what it will be in 2022. So initially when I planned this channel, it was meant to be sort of a Pacific Northwest dessert travel channel. My love is desserts. I'm a craft chocolate expert. I wanted to cover both of those as much as possible. Ideally visiting towns up and down the West Coast, some international travel, but mainly Seattle, Vancouver, Portland, and then also eat a lot of desserts and eat a lot of chocolate. That was the goal. As I am chronically ill and don't really feel safe traveling yet and probably won't for the near future, I am working on sort of three main categories for 2022. There will be a lot of traditional food reviews like you've seen already and then also two other segments of content. One I'm still working on so I don't want to announce it yet but I'm really excited about it. It'll be more about baking in general and then one specifically talking more about craft chocolate. More on the things that I should have covered already like recommendations because I still haven't actually covered my favorite chocolate bars so I'm hoping to do that this year and go a bit more into why I love chocolate and even some more serious stuff like I'm working on a video on child labor in chocolate and why I care about craft chocolate so much because it's not just oh this chocolate tastes good I'm personally invested in trying to reduce child labor in chocolate and so I buy craft and bean to bar chocolate as part of that reasoning. I am holding some hope out crossing some fingers that if things get better towards the end of the year, I will go back to doing some travel content. I'd love to go and do more of the islands around Seattle. I'd love to cover more like north and south of Seattle. So maybe not like the big goal of the west coast I was hoping for, but maybe just like King and Snohomish County. We'll see. So if you have anything you'd like to see me cover that is available nationwide, please leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you'd like to see more of. Right now I'm just sort of grabbing whatever gets my attention and let's just say there's a lot of shortbread. On to the not so fun stuff. What the crud happened? So I should say the first the answer is we don't quite know what's really going on right now. What we know happened was that when I went off my birth control in 2020, dear goodness, it caused a chain of events because it meant that I was suddenly taking too much hypothyroid medication. And so I became hyperthyroid and had massive insomnia. And I was recovering from that and recovering from the impact of Synthroid and the birth control leaving my system. We think after I got the COVID booster, things got a bit more out of control hormone-wise and it kept on throwing off my sleep. At this point though, it's down to figuring out what's still not quite happening because I'm still getting bad sleep every few days and it's really throwing things off. Like right now the schedule's completely out of order because a few days ago I got three hours of total sleep. Total and it just threw off my whole week and I'm catching up from that. So that's been a bummer. As of filming this, I have gotten a full week of sleep and that's usually about when things start to go wrong. So I'm a bit worried, but fingers are crossed that tonight I get sleep and it's eight in a row. That would be great. You need two weeks for your sleep to reset enough that it goes back to normal. So I'm very hopeful because if I could just get it a bit more settled, I could start filming again as it's been. I am still mainly reliant on my buffer and planning very much in advance, so yay. But I am filming, I am far less dead, and that is a big bonus, like I, it, it's hard to explain how it felt the last year, because I, I didn't want to not leave any updates, but I was so unable to focus. And that's my little update on the state of the channel and what's been going on with me. I am hoping to be in better shape soon and be able to just do more and hang out more. We'll see. I'd really love to do some lives. I've got plans. But as a thank you little bonus for watching this far, the next videos that are going to happen, I am hoping to do a short on some camel milk chocolate that I got. Really excited about that. I'm working on a shortbread comparison video. We'll see how that one goes. I'm trying to source some really expensive butter and I can't find it. It's the whole problem. And then also Sakurako will be on the docket coming up. I'm just waiting for the next box to arrive along with a box from Fruition Chocolate. So we have a bit of everything coming up. 
But thank you again for hanging out with me and being part of this channel. It really means a lot that you're all still here, that it's been growing since I was sick. That was a really lovely surprise. And hopefully there'll be a thousand of us by the end of the year. That is my goal to finally hit thousand subs and see where we can take it. And there will be a thousand sub giveaway, probably. I have some ideas, I really wanna make them happen. But with that, it's always great hanging out with you and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.